Hey everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys how I do my foundation on a regular basis. Uh, these are products that I use very often, pretty much every day. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, put moisturizer, which I already did. And I'm using the Kiehl's, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which is this one. And I have really sensitive skin and this one really, really helps. It hasn't given me any issues whatsoever, so I really recommend it. And um, since I already have that, I am going to go with the pores no more. I'm just going to put like a small dot. This goes a long way. Now you always want to leave the primer. You want to let it set for a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with this LA Girl um, concealer and it's the orange corrector. And I have a situation. I decided to get my nose pierced and it didn't go so well. My, I guess my nose, my skin didn't take it. So I took it off and it left like this orange mark right there. Orange. So it left this dark spot. And I've been struggling with it for so many years. It never got better. So I always just... Even though um, sometimes it still shows, I always want to take an extra step to try and correct it. So for my ultra favorite foundation, like I use this basically every day. This is a 24 hour infallible pro matte from L'Oreal. This is what it looks like and this is my holy grail. It never fails me. It lasts the whole day and I have oily skin so this actually um, helps me. It helps me with that. I am not like super oily, but it does control it. I am in shade 105. So what I do is I just put it back on my palm. Like this amount. And then I always use a beauty blender. Here and there, I'll use a foundation brush, but I haven't found a really good one. So today I'm going to use this beauty blender. And I just dab it in there. And I just go in. I always start with the like one cheek and just drag it to the bottom of the other. Um, so I don't take it all the way up here because I am gonna conceal. I just um, just go around my under eyes like this. For this, I just stab a little and then just mix it. Do you guys know of anything that I can do so it can go away? Please let me know because that that thing sucks. And I do have some pimple going on right here, but I'm not really worried about it. it doesn't bug me that much. So just make sure everything is blended. Oh, also the beauty blender was uh, wet. Another thing is don't just stop like right here. Mix it down. Bring it down to your neck. Don't You don't have to apply more product down here. Just drag it down. Make sure there's like no harsh lines. Now for the concealer I'm going to use, the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. It's in color Light Clear. I'm going to do the same thing. I don't have any more foundation. I'm just going to put a good amount back here like that a little goes a long way for concealer also then also if you have a lot of wrinkles under the eyes the more product you put the more the wrinkles are going to show so it's up to you how much you want to put on so I'm going to go in with the beauty blender and I'm going to use the pointy side and I'm just going to dab it on my skin and then I'm just going to work it on on my under eye I'm not going to bring it all the way to my um, lash line because I still need to put on more of the eyeshadow, which I didn't finish. I always like to conceal before I add more eyeshadow to the bottom. I also like to uh, put it 
right on the top of my nose and bring it up to my forehead without adding any more product just blending this out and then also Cupid's bow and the chin now I'm gonna go in with my airspun loose face powder just gonna take like a good amount And then I'm also going to set that situation I have just so the makeup won't move. And then I also like to set my smile lines because I know mine are pretty bad. So now I'm just going to dust off all the powder. And this is my Morphe R5 brush. This helps you um, if you're really oily. What you can do is set your whole face with it. And this will definitely help control your oil. Today I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. This is what it looks like. And I really recommend this, this palette. It has like the perfect shades if you're like medium tone like me. I usually use these two. Um, but I might do this if I'm like going out at night. This is my Luxie 504. And I go in with the color light contour, which is this one right here. And then you always want to start like from your ear. Or you can always just pucker up and find your cheekbone and go from there. So right here. And I always start from my hairline down. And then I get a little more and then I just do my forehead. I don't really have a big forehead, but I always like to just add a little dimension to it. The top, a little bit in the middle, and then I always do the bottom. I don't add more product to the bottom, I just mix what I have. I get an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using the Luxie 235. This is the blending brush. So I'm just going to add a little color and I'm going to go in with the crown brush and my MAC Peaches blush. And smile. So we're going to go in with the same color I used for my inner corner which is the Becca in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M310. It's a fan brush. And then just add it right on top of the contour. Tip of the nose and Cupid's bow. Now we're going to set it with the MAC Fix Plus. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. Alright, bye. See you next week.